Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review. Today we are taking a look at one of the most anticipated diecasts from the 2023 season. This is Ryan Blaney's 2023 Coke 600 win. The body armor, green camo car. Um, yeah, this car is a probably it's one of my most anticipated cars 2023. But we're gonna actually start here with our box, go through that quick. NASCAR uh, Elite Box, everything standard there, 75th anniversary, no special art, okay? Uh, here's the only thing that's different. You can see one of 800 Elites, so pretty good number uh, for Ryan Blaine's number 12 body armor camo Charlotte win. Uh, that's all I really got to show off for that. Now, this one does come with a couple of cards, and uh, I do have a couple of other things with it. Uh, so we'll start, though, with the race win card. Um, so we'll go through and pull it out here. There we go. Coca-Cola 600, May 29th, 2023. Charlotte Motor Speedway. Flip it around to the back. Time of the race, 4 hours, 58 minutes, and 50 seconds. Almost a 5-hour race. Started 8th on the night. 400 total laps for 600 miles. 16 cautions for 83 laps. If we're wondering why it took so long, 16 cautions, 83 laps. There's 400 total laps. Almost 24% of the race took place under caution. If you do the math, that's like 120 miles. There's probably 100 miles of caution. 100 miles, that's insane. He led 163 laps uh, and they won by 0.6 seconds. Uh, we also do have the race win sticker here for the uh, NASCAR Cup Series of last year. A little anniversary diamond in there and kind of the another piece of my favorite part of collecting which is the pin uh there you see the coke 600 pin from last year may 28th 2023 always love collecting these and uh unfortunately like the, most of the other ones i can never get more than uh one so that's all i got so let's go ahead and take a look at this car because this car is something else it is probably one of, like i said one of my most anticipated cars uh, thus far now you can see here we do have our number 12 here we got body armor sports drink worth uh, some of the sponsors you can see the Goodyear lettering is blue right around the outside of the yellow Not sure what the deal is with that, but it's on all the tires I believe this one here you can see the salute to service or the honor and remember then we got the um, Blue lettering around the Goodyear flip it around to the right side uh, Goodyear not as much blue lettering, but there's still some there and the same thing there So I'm not hundred percent sure what that is. I've noticed it on a few cars um, But it is weird. It's it seems like there's an ink issue or something because the blue just doesn't it doesn't make sense. It's, I think it might be supposed to be smeared yellow, but I don't know. So it looks a little off. You can see we do have a little right rear scrape here. So just a little scuff with the wall there. We got body armor. You can see our number 12 and just some rubber buildup around the whole right side there. Um, pieces of confetti here on the back. You can see them on the deck lit or on the trunk as well. Across the back bumper, we got our red spoiler here. So it's the short red spoiler with the clear topper. Discount tire here. Can't hardly tell because all the confetti. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull this open if we can. There we go. Fuel cell there in the back. And we'll go ahead and clip that back down. Uh, we also have a lot of the confetti on the rear window. I heard that there might be a duplicate with this in Austin Dillon's car. So I'm going to do an investigation. But I heard they use the exact same confetti pattern on the rear window with this one as they did with uh, Austin Dillon's Coke 0400 win in 2022. If that's the case, we're going to take a look and we're going to deep dive it and make sure. But if that's the case, we got something to talk about. Uh, roof laps do deploy. We got our number 12 there on the roof. We've got uh, the Honor and Remember banner here. So we've got uh, Sergeant Cruder. Uh, it's K-R-E-U-T-E-R. -E -E I don't know if that's Cruder. That sounds like Cruder. Um, we also have the Ford emblem up here on the top left corner of the banner. And then body armor sports drink. The two little, um, what they call louvers here. And then we got our body armor bottle there in the middle. Shell and Pennzoil there. Uh, or sorry, not Shell. Pennzoil and Ford there. And then you can see on the left front, there's a little bit of buildup there. Uh, carbon fiber on the splitter. And then the little green tips. And then same thing on the right front. A little bit more buildup down here at the base of that. Uh, but I do really like the little green tips on the bottom there. There's our grill opening there. Chrome rims, which uh, I would love it if we could get away from the chrome rims with the Penske cars. But I guess we'll see if the 2024s get any better. Uh, they haven't won a race yet, so uh, I guess we don't really know yet if we're going to need those or not. But um, yeah, overall, this is a really good looking car. The, the green, the red, and the black, really, this is a good, good paint scheme. And um, Body Armor did something pretty cool last year. They uh, kept their their uh, paint schemes kind of a secret, and then they released the merchandise the weekend of the paint scheme. So going into the race at Charlotte, they announced this paint scheme on like Thursday or Friday, and you could get the car, the Elite and the ARC at the trailer um, that day, which was very cool. I thought that's neat that like you know 
as a fan, you don't know the paint scheme until the couple days before the race uh, when they bring it to the racetrack, and then you can literally get the die cast of that car um, at the racetrack. I thought that was very cool. They were able to keep that under wraps and uh, allow that to be the case. And they did it for multiple body armor cars last year. I just thought that was a really neat thing uh, for them to announce a new paint scheme for this for a certain race and then their merch to be immediately in the trailer ready to roll. So I just thought that was really cool. I'd like to see that done a little bit more if there's if it's possible, but um, you know, it's always tough to keep secrets. So, uh, but anyway, guys, that'll pretty much wrap up the review on this one. You can pick this up at rasdiecast.com. Uh, there will be that. That'll be available in one eight one twenty fourth ARC, one twenty fourth Elite, and one sixty fourth scale as well. They remember they did start putting the confetti and the banners on the windshields for these. Uh, so at least those are more accurate now. But yes, we have all the scales available. Um, you can check it out over there. Use the promo code RACECRAZE at checkout. But other than that, guys, that'll pretty much wrap up this video. Thank you all for watching. This has been RACECRAZE, and we will see you in the next DieCast Review.